Hey, well, it's uh, great to see you again. Yeah, seriously. Seriously, it's great to see you again. You know, it always puts me in a good mood when I, when I get to see you and catch up on things and chat and stuff like that, you know? As long as it's okay with you, of course. Um, how, how are you feeling? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Thank you for telling me. Um, hope I've not uh, taken away any time from your busy schedule. Um, I was just about to actually uh, offer you a few more gifts, if you like. Got some more, uh, got some more CDs and albums for you to borrow. But um, not just any CDs and albums. These are video game soundtracks. Got a bit of a soundtrack collection right here for you. If you want, um, you know, we can kill a bit of time, of course. Uh, only if you're okay with that. Uh, you know, we could perhaps chat a bit about the soundtracks I've, I've got here for you and, and, and you know, what, what they're like so, so you're not going in blind. Uh, again, again, only if you're cool with that. I, I don't want to kind of talk your ear off or... Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> um, uh, absolutely, because I am most definitely pretty knowledgeable when it comes to video games, especially. Whoa, no oh dear, uh, <laughs> especially uh, these video games right here. Some of my favorite ones, and uh, and a soundtrack of one game that's that's not been released yet, which is, which is cool. Um, so anyway. Since you're here, um, you know, let me let me choose one. Um, oh, let's start with this one, Halo 2, Volume 1, original soundtrack and new music. So, um, this is an interesting album. It's of two parts. Um, it's a mixture of well, you know, songs from the game and some uh, exclusive stuff. So, for example, uh. You got the Halo theme, you know, the one that goes, uh, you know, with the, 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 oh, 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 kind of, um, opera singing dudes. And the, uh, and the violins, dun 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 dun, dun 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 dun, so, really epic, kind of, uh, heroic feel to it. And then, uh, a guy called Steve Vai, he contributes to what is called the Mjolnir mix, so, uh, this is a special remixed version where uh, he pretty much whips out his guitar and just plays over the uh, Halo theme, and it sounds awesome. Definitely one of the coolest songs in the album, great way to start. You also got some songs by people like uh, Incubus, um, they made some songs for the game. Some of them are have vocals, well in the video game if there are no vocals. Um, there's a remix by uh, it's more like a, an original kind of dance beat song by Nile Rogers and Nataraj, that's it, called Never Surrender. And it uses clips from the, uh, the video game. Kind of, kind of sounds like a nightclub kind of dance music from the early 2000s. So, pretty cool. And uh, Hoobastank with Connected, that's kind of like a bit of a, uh, uh, it's a bonus track. Inspired by playing Halo and Halo 2 and, you know, just video games like that online and having fun. So, um, and then of course there's, uh, the, the original soundtrack, you know, tracks like, uh, Flawed Legacy, uh, Impend. Man, that hits me so much with all the serotonin. <laughs> uh, love the guitars in, in Amber Clad. Um, uh, love the beats in, uh, Ghost of Reach as well. It's, like I say, great soundtrack and, uh, and some bonus stuff if you're interested in that, of course, some bonus stuff. Uh, but nevertheless, really enjoy it. Let's check out these other ones. Uh, ooh, yeah, Command and Conquer Red Alert. This is an awesome video game and an awesome soundtrack. I actually got the, um, the imported German version, Alarm Sterf Rot. Uh, do, do you wanna hear more about it. I, I could just talk about the soundtrack and not, not the bonus track compilation that, that comes alongside you, you know. It, I, 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 I just talk a lot, I know. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't just get... Oh, uh, really? You, you, you want me to talk about the whole thing? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, 
Um, I am pretty cool with that. Uh, very cool with that. <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, comes with two albums, the original songs from the game, and a special German-only compilation. So it has most of the tracks from the original game, you know, Hell March, total classic, like industrial rock track that, with the military marching, the the chanting in the background, then those grindy guitars kicking off. Then there's um, uh, tracks like uh, Twin Cannon, that's another kind of like uh, industrial metal track. You get tunes like uh, Workmen, really funky. Love that track, so funky and catchy with really like uh, bouncy, twangy kind of bass. Then you get other tracks like um, you know, more more dance kind of uh, electronica tracks like uh, Radio and Crush. You get some tunes like Face the Enemy and Run, which they sound like they sound like movie soundtracks, kind of pseudo orchestral. But still, you know, pretty pretty good listens uh, as well. So, a lot of great tracks, a lot of really awesome ones. I'd say one of my favorites is Mud, kind of bluesy, kind of mellow track, but really catchy, really catchy. Um, so anyway, there's uh, the bonus album, only exclusive to these German versions of uh, the soundtrack. You know, there's, uh, there's an exclusive track by Cobalt Sixty called Crush. The Command and Conquer mix. It's uh, it's kind of like a remix version of the Crush video game version, and and adds new vocals and uh, all sorts of stuff. And pretty cool, pretty cool if you like industrial kind of uh, uh, industrial EDM music from the '90s. And there's a lot of other '90s bands as well, like uh, Leibach with uh, God Is God heavy metal track. The Prodigy, bit of guitars in that, but it's a definite dance tune. Um, same with Psychosonic and Violent Vision, like Ride, love that track. And um, Pleasure of Sin, the Radical Remix extended version. That's uh, exclusive to the uh, singles, but yeah, pretty cool track. Never really heard of those guys, but uh, with all the others, great lessons. But yeah, it's really heavy and kind of like uh, industrial-esque and a bit of electronic dance music as well. Very cool compilation, and uh, a lot of cool 90s bands especially. So, yeah, yeah, well worth getting if you can get it. Well, you're already getting it. I'm handing it to you, but um, but if you ever want to, like, start your own collection and stuff, this would be a very cool addition. Yeah. Let me see what I got here. Uh, <laughs> I've got another double album compilation. You cool with me? Talking about it? Again, again. Only if you're okay with it. You know, we, we can always wrap things up here, but I just want to make sure it's okay with you and, you know, not, not boring people like, like I've <laughs> known to do with a lot of people because I'm running my mouth a lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can still talk about it. Like, see, I, I'm just really glad that you're, that you're showing interest. But yeah, let, let me talk about this one. Uh, Hitman Codename 47, and Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. So it was the first two Hitman games, you know, the stealth action game starring uh, Agent 47, the clone assassin. So the first game, uh, it's got a lot of, like, compilations in each track. So, you know, there's, like, the uh, Hong Kong themes, uh, harbor, hospital themes, uh, the jungle exploration, dark jungle, um... So, what uh, Jesper Kidd did, he made a lot of experimental tracks based on uh, just video game locations he was told about. He didn't actually see much of the game itself, he was just given a piece of paper and just told, you know, write something. So he did. Um, pretty experimental listen, but pretty fun actually, pretty, pretty good listen. Um, I really like the Hong Kong themes and also the tunes for the jungle as well, that those are great listens. Um, it's almost like, uh, <laughs> kind of like, uh, drum and bass, almost, but with, like, uh, like, gong-like percussions and instruments, and, like, listening to jungle exploration, that's like, whoa, when you get to, uh, a certain part. I won't, I won't spoil it, the, uh, I won't spoil it, that one. But there's also a bunch of cool, um, demos as well, unreleased demo versions, you know, like, uh, the rainforest is, a uh, 
eight minute rainforest tune, which sounds more like a uh, jungle beats, like <laughs> like uh, like a band in the jungle just started creating like dance beats with bongos and and uh, little twangy guitars and stuff like that. It's it's really cool actually. So it's an interesting glimpse into the uh, in development kind of side of things. Then you get Hitman 2. This is drastically different. A lot of the tracks have music from the Budapest Philharmonic Orchestra that Jesper Kidd kind of used and kind of intertwined with uh, his own kind of music. So there's a lot of orchestral stuff. You know, tracks like 47 Makes a Decision sounds like a real heroic kind of tune, while Hitman 2's uh, main theme sounds foreboding. It's like a lot of chanting in Latin. And then you get songs that's in uh, set in Japan, India, Russia, kind of uh, Arabian countries. Some ambient tracks as well. I really like H2 Exploration and uh, H2 Action. So that's kind of music when you're exploring around, and action is when you get caught or suspicious guards are around. It's like. So, it still has some of the electronic elements, but it's a bit more. Um, it's a bit more refined, a lot more catchy. Again, you listen to this, and it's gonna stick with you. It is so amazing. Uh, well, yeah, we got uh, horrifying the Circle Mansion, the official soundtrack by Alaric Jackson. This, this is actually a uh, a soundtrack for a game that's not out yet. Um, it was kind of released as a bit of a as a pre-release kind of uh, promotional dealy. Um, on the developer's website for Horrifying, the Circle Mansion. And, um, it's made, made by Candle Magic Games. And, um, this game was actually in development. I think it started as early as 1998. And now here we are. <laughs> still, still in development. So, it's still like a MIDI kind of soundtrack. Do, do, do you know what MIDI is? I mean, are, are you cool with me kind of explaining? Again... If not, just let me know. It's absolutely fine. I, I don't want to make you feel kind of, um, you know, just like I'm wasting your time or talking your ear off. It's your choice. Oh, yeah, I, I can tell you more about it. Sure. So, MIDI is kind of like, uh, it's like electronic instruments. Like, it emulates and mimics pianos or guitars or uh, uh, organs, keyboards, stuff like that. But it's all, it's all electronic in, like, really small, light versions of files. And the great thing is that um, they've been using it ever since, like, the early 90s. And, um, you know, you might have heard, uh, you might have heard the music from games like Doom and Duke Nukem. Uh, what else? Uh, Rise of the Triad. Well, a lot of, a lot of old-school kind of shooters used uh, MIDI soundtracks, and they sounded great. Really cool in the right hands. But, um... So it's still like that, but uh, for the modern day, it accepts, you know, it sounds really spooky. A lot of really cool tracks that really kind of uh, get the mood kind of set. You know, like you're kind of wandering into a haunted house and everything just seems really foreboding and, and uncomfortable and disturbing. Like, you know, proper horror kind of stuff. Like, no, nothing to scare your pants off, of course. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not easily scared by... <laughs> a spooky soundtrack from a, from a video game, <clears throat> but um, but I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll enjoy it. Do you still have time on your hands? I guess that's all the uh, this is all the stuff here for the uh, video game soundtracks that I got. Um, if you're still free, maybe we could go out and get a drink. <laughs> if that's totally okay, I, I understand if. If you don't want to, you know, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make you feel like you gotta do that for me, or, or make you feel uncomfortable, or, or anything like that, anything like that, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry, you know, I understand if, if your answer is a no, I, I'm sorry if it is a no, I, I, I'm, I, I'm really, I'm really sorry if I'm putting you on the spot here, but, you know, but I, I, you do, really? <laughs> um, <coughs> uh, um, I, I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah, I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> um, well, uh, well, if you're comfortable with that, then sure, sure, absolutely fine by me.
Uh, hey, I just gotta quickly, uh, I just gotta quickly bend something. Wait, how far is the... Why does it have to be over there? I'll tell you what, I quickly gotta bend something, then I'll, I'll, I'll be just a moment, I'll be just a moment. Uh, if you wanna sit back and just, uh, relax for now. Yeah, here, by all means. If you wanna look at the CDs some more, you can take your time with that. But, uh, I'll just gotta quickly sort out a few things. It won't be long, I'll just be like a minute or two, okay? Yeah, great, great. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a moment then. Don't go anywhere. Please. <laughs> yeah, please, please don't. Um, I'm really looking forward to spending more time with you. You're really awesome, you know that? Yeah, I mean it. You, you really are awesome, so thank you once again. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Okay, I'll, I'll be back in a moment.